This is Kim from Coffee Crafters, and we'd like to thank you for ordering your Artisan XC coffee roaster. You should have got your email confirmation, your shipping confirmation, and Carrie, while the roaster's in transit, we'd like them to think about how they're going to receive it. So why don't you give them some information on what to do when they get it? Okay, as you can tell, it's a large pallet. It weighs 300 pounds. It's 40 by 48 by 40 inches tall. And uh, what's going to happen is that it's going to come on a truck, LTL, what's called a lift gate. They're going to drop it off at the end of the lift gate and they're going to um, wheel it just to a short distance to your location. Um, what you want to do though is before they're moving it to your location, uh, like the side of your driveway or your house, you want to be able to look at this package and look for any damage because LTL damage can occur regularly. Uh, so what you're going to look for is any crushed uh, corners and what's really bad, which doesn't happen very often, but you're going to want to look for fork lift penetration. So there'll be two prong marks either in the side of your roaster or to the front. And if you have prong marks on that roaster in this box, you need to stop and have them actually cut the box apart and look at the part on the inside. That's the only way you're going to see if this roaster is damaged. And when we take the, the box off, you'll see we have different parts of where they're at and you can mm -hmm. see how it might cause some damage. It doesn't happen often, no, but doesn't. when it does, we want to make sure that you're prepared for that. Mm -hmm. And we're here to help you with that too. So yeah. if they see some damage, they can take a picture of it. Send us the picture real quick. We'll yeah. take a look at it and uh, make sure that they don't sign for the roaster unless they, they're mm -hmm. confident that it's not damaged inside. Correct, and our telephone and damage information is on this important label right here on the top. So look that over, get familiar with what it says, and uh, if there is damage, that will tell you what to do. And if not, then it's all yours. So we're gonna unbox this and show you what it looks like inside. And one of the things we want you to do, um, I know it takes up a little bit of room, mm -hmm. but do not throw your packaging away. Yeah. Um, there's a 30 day return policy on the roaster and should anything happen where you'd have to return it, we wanna make sure that you have that original packaging and Carrie would help you uh, get that back in the package and, and return it to us. So that being said, let's go ahead and cut the, mm -hmm. cut the box open. Uh, there are two nylon straps across the top. And your pack list is right here. So you might want to grab that before you start moving off your cardboard. So take your packing list off. Carrie designs all the packaging on our roasters and she has a pretty good reputation for getting them to you intact. It's very important to me. But occasionally things will happen and uh, beyond our control and, and something might happen. So. There's going to be a lot of packaging material, so <laughs> Carrie yep. doesn't scrimp on the packaging materials in there. So once you take the top off, then you can see where the devices are, are, are packaged. So you can see what might happen if a forklift goes through and hits it. Now Carrie puts the fresh board in there all the way around those major components. So a lot of times it can actually take some damage from the outside and we save the roaster on the inside because mm -hmm. it'll push it in against some other packaging. So in that case, you see some damage from uh, forklift work. Um, you want to take this out, pull the box off, and inspect the outside surfaces of those devices. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go ahead and, and take these out and expose these roaster parts inside. And this is the mass to the roaster. Yes, it is. Installs all in one piece. Mm -hmm. So Carrie, after we get the um, all the crush boards out, that would be the time to lift the box off, right? Correct. It's much, much easier doing this job if you have two people. Um, and depending on where the roaster gets dropped off, you may have to <laughs> unbox it down by the street or someplace to get it in your building if you don't, because a lot of people don't have a, right. a door large enough to get it in. 
The heaviest component in the roaster is the roaster body at 85 pounds. The exhaust blower weighs 65 pounds. So definitely it's a little bit easier if you have two people. All right, let's go ahead and lift the box off, Carrie. So we'll set this aside. And as you can see, the parts are fairly large, the box. And we know it's going to be inconvenient to uh, have to save the packaging, but um, 30 days, if you can, save the packaging. Got a roast hopper in here. And then all the components. So carry the manual for the roaster you put in the bottom of the cooling tray. Most important thing to pull out first, mm -hmm. along with the pack slip. Along with the pack slip. And I've kind of designed the uh, packaging the same as you'll find here. It says in the bean cooler. So in the bean cooler, certain items here on your pack list will be inside here. So as you pull your pack list out and you go through the first part here, that's what you're going to find here. So you want to take that apart, get your manual out. And unfortunately, it's in the bottom, but it's best for the pack. Cool. Okay. So I would offload all of these separately. Um, this part's actually fairly light, so we set that aside. The bean cooler. Lots and lots of packaging. And this is masked in the duct fitting. So we provide all the duct fittings in with your roaster to go from the roaster side to the intake of the exhaust blower. What you're responsible for is from the exhaust blower to the outside, whether you're going through a sidewall or you're going up through the roof, uh, you'll have to figure out how to get that part done. And one of the things we want you to be aware of is as you're planning for this, for your venting and the electrical, if you have any questions while your roaster's in transit, it's a good time to call us and let us help mm -hmm. you uh, work through those problems. We've helped several thousand customers <laughs> yeah. install their roasters. So there's always a solution that we can find on the venting. If your electrician has any questions about the electrical, um, just have your electrician call us directly. Um, this system takes a 60 amp dedicated 240 volt circuit in North America for the roaster um, and a 20 amp 240 volt circuit for the exhaust blower. Mm -hmm. Those are the two electrical requirements. And um, yeah, so that's it on, on that part of the installation. So on the intake of your exhaust, there's going to be a Y down here. Here, you want to unpack that. And that Y goes on the intake of the exhaust board. This is really a simple system. So one side of the Y goes to the bean cooler, and the other side of the Y goes to the top of the shaft collection. Um, and all of that stuff, there are pictures in the manual all the way through, step by step. Um, really easy to install. I'm like, yeah. sure, do I have a knife on me? No. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. You have one now. I uh, do. Too late. There. Uh, so, Carrie tapes the hardware to most of these. So, there, there's a couple of self tapping screws here. Um, and where that goes on the side of the exhaust blower, you'll use the self tapping screws to put that in. On the intake side of the blower, you do not need to tape the seams because everything on the intake side is vacuum, so it doesn't leak. One of the important things is when you're venting out of the exhaust blower, everything on the discharge side is pressurized. So if there's a leak in a seam or there's a mm -hmm. crack where the fittings go together, that will leak smoke into your, your roasting environment. So you want to make sure to tape all the seams. And I think most of us have had experience of not doing that and yep. <laughs> getting smoke in your house. So. Um, so go ahead and read through the manual. Uh, when you get that, look through it first. You can actually download this manual um, because this is coming with your roaster. Yeah. But if you want to look at this ahead of time, it's on the product page on the website yep. for each one of the roasters. You can download the manual and look at all the stuff inside as well before it gets there. We just want to make sure when your roaster arrives, you know exactly what you're going to do to put it in. And if you have any questions, let us help you answer those questions ahead of time. And again, thanks for purchasing your roaster.